Hi guys, this is Baska Veri, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a row sampling transformation. In the previous video, we've seen, we've seen how to use a percentage sampling transformations, and the main difference between these both are the only the mag exact count. In this, in the row sampling transformations, the output would be the exact size, uh, whatever we mentioned there. You know, the same number of records would be appear in the multiple runs. Okay, let me show you the demo of that. I've created a package here. Let me rename that. Land up the data flow task. create a ODDB connection I'm going to select the existing source itself drag and drop the ODDB source TBL employer columns okay Okay, I'm um, use the row sampling here. Here we have the number of records to get uh, number of rows. So I'm going to select five rows here. I have not selected this uh, use the following random sheets, so I should get the exact match every time when I choose. So I have enabled the data viewer to check what what would be the output. So I've just ran the package. And I've selected five records. Five as the number of rows. Okay. There is a source. this is a sample records and these are the unsampled records so you can see this sample records we got five records here and this was the output first second bunny let us uh, rerun the task again So in this, in the second round also, we get the same number of records. The record count does not change here. Okay, but the record, random records has been populated here. So to, so we can we have other option here. So use the following random seed. The first two records should be the same records every time we run. Okay, click okay. So we can run this. Here we can see there's this the random records. Uh, the first starting two records will be the same if you run the multiple records also. If you run on this multiple times, the record will be same. Let us see how, how it happens now. Now I have selected the checkbox to select the run. So we can see here fifth record is power one and eighth record is one, two, three, four. Okay. Power 1 and 1 to 3 4. So if we rerun the task again, I should get the same uh, records. The first starting to record should be the same, and the count should be the 5 only.
okay so you can see here this power and 134 are the records in the previous scenario okay so this is how the exact number of records would get using the but in percent of sampling these records also vary that uh, this is only the difference which we have between those two uh, thank you for watching and please do subscribe my youtube channel